It was a dark night in Mecca. The air was crisp, and the sky looked like a stunning tapestry of scattered jewels. On such nights, Imam al-Sajjad enjoyed the solitude of worship in Masjid al-Haram. As people slept in the comfort of their beds, the Imam immersed himself in the ocean of divine love. On that night, Tawus al-Yamani, one of the Imam's companions, had entered the masjid and was enchanted by the angelic voice emanating from the vicinity of the Kaaba. Ilahi gharat nujum samawatik wa haj'at uyun anamik wa abwabuka mufattahat lis-sa'ilin My Lord the stars of your sky have set and the eyes of your creation have slept and your gates are wide open for those who ask The Imam alayhi salam would recite so passionately and sometimes he would pause, allowing the tears to stream down his blessed cheeks. He continued reciting, saying, Subhanaka tu'asa ka'annaka la tara, wa tahlimu ka'annaka lam tu'asa. Glory be to you. People disobey you as if you do not see, and you are forbearing as if you were never disobeyed. Tawus was mesmerized by the beauty of the supplication and decided to approach the worshiper and discover his identity. As he walked closer, he realized that it was his master, Imam Ali ibn al Hussein. Tawus said, O oh Imam, why do you weep like this when you supplicate? While your father is Hussein, the son of Ali, your mother is Fatima and your grandfather is the messenger of God. The Imam alayhi salam, he replied, saying, Hey hat, hey hat, Ya Tawus, da'anni hadith abi wa ummi wa jaddi. O Tawus, leave the mention of my father, mother, and grandfather. Khalaqallahu al-jannata liman ata'ahu wa ahsan, walaw kana abdan habashiyya. وخلق النار لمن عصاه ولو كان ولدا قرشيا او طاووس الله has created paradise for whoever obeys him and does good even if he be a slave and he created hell for whoever disobeys him even if he be a son of قريش one practical lesson that we learn from Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salam is that our worth before Allah is not measured by our lineage or social status, but rather by the purity of our hearts. In a famous hadith from the Holy Prophet وآله, who once said to Abu Dhar, Ya Aba Dhar, Inna Allah la yanzur ila suwarikum, wala ila amwalikum, walakin yanzur ila qulubikum wa a'malikum. O oh, Abu Dhar, Indeed, Allah does not look at your forms or your wealth, but rather He looks at your hearts and your actions.